Hi there everyone, Rob here. I'm a part-time animator and 3D modeler in what spare time I have. Uh, what I'm showing here is a quick overview of a facial tracking tool that I've cobbled together using Python, which I'm going to be using in my animation projects this year. Uh, but as you can see, this uh, is using Python, and it's sort of streaming into Unreal using OSC. It, it can also export the, the coefficients or the different, the different combinations of facial expressions into a file that can be imported into Blender, which is where I'm going to be doing most of my animation. But I thought it'd be interesting to see if I could use OSC to get it into Unreal in real time. I've shown it off in the past and people ask me if I could release the code. I've never done that before because it is a bit janky in places and it's, it would be very difficult for someone to approach if they, didn't, if they hadn't written the code themselves. I'm definitely not a coder. But I've had a bit of extra time recently and so I think I've got the code in a state where it could go out in an initial release and I'm going to be improving on it as the weeks and months go by. And I'm going to be using this tool more in the things which I put out. So I thought I would uh, make a video where I, I introduced what it is. It's using uh, Python, and it's using all open source things, so I think it could be used for commercial reasons. The main downside is you really have to train it to know your face. I've also written a program, crucially, or a bit of software, in OpenCV, which will allow you to put the training data in, and that was always the main missing component. It's definitely more for use with cameras that are locked down, so I mean head-mounted cameras, or footage where your subject is really not moving very much. But I hope that actually over the months I can work in ways for it to compensate for motion of the head, um, and that's also an important part of a performance as well, so that would make sense. But I thought it might be interesting for people who are just starting out with animation, and I think it would be very useful, especially for what I'm doing, for more stylized stuff. But what we're seeing here is maybe the worst case scenario where you're trying to do it with photorealistic footage. So anyway, I think I'll leave it there. Um, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found it interesting. Um, I'll post more about this in the weeks to come with the links to GitHub and what have you, but I'm definitely still refactoring the code so that it's readable by someone because what you'll learn very quickly is I'm not a programmer. Anyway, thank you very much for your time.